<laughs> good morning, Sally. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Shola. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Kakaki Social. I am Ohimaya Maize. On this segment of the show, we'll tell you the issues that are shaping conversations in the Nigerian social media. So what's trending this morning? <laughs> Is there an imposter in Asso Rock? Is Jubril of Sudan the president of Nigeria? Well, that issue seems to have been finally laid to rest. There have been lots of speculations over the past few weeks, past few months about uh, the identity of who is presiding over the affairs of Nigeria as president. There have been speculations that it is a man called Jubril from Sudan. That issue was raging in the Nigerian media. There were lots of speculations about it, a lot of gossiping, a lot of talk about this matter. There were pictures of uh, the said that Jubril of Sudan and the real president, Muhammad Buhari of Nigeria, people drawing comparison and contrasts about the two identities of these people. It was such a serious issue that even the presiding bishop of uh, the Living Faith Church Worldwide actually said something about this issue a few days ago. Let's take a look at what this Facebook user, Yemi Buari Adekboju, posted on his Facebook page, shared this video with us about uh, Bishop Oyedekbo speaking about this issue, which was such a serious matter in the Nigerian media space, on social media. A lot of people were talking about this thing. Let's, talk, let's take a look at uh, the video, and then we'll come back to how this development is currently generating conversations in the Nigerian on social media. This disturbing information came from the nation's newspaper of Tuesday, November 27, 2018. Little by one of exploded with authoritative assertions, he said, claiming, among others, that the president that President Buhari had died in the UK in 2017 where he was undergoing medical treatment. How? That the entrenched Kaba in Nassau Rock had procured a Buhari double in Sudan and pressed him into service as Nigeria's president. What? That representative of the Jubril family, that is the supposed imposter, having discovered the gigantic swindle, suddenly showed up in Abuja the other day and demanded to be compensated with a power sharing arrangement at the federal level in perpetuity plus 50% of Nigeria's oil revenues for 10 years in the first instance. Now that was on the back page of the nations of Tuesday 27th of November. That and I quote, failing these they would tell their story to the, to the whole world. He further stated that the Nigerian authorities have entered into frantic negotiations with Jubilee's family to head off what is sure to be the worst dirtiest and worst kept secret, he said. And he concluded by saying that Britain is mediating its end. So far, to my knowledge, no official statement has refuted this claim which simply implies Nigeria may truly be up for sale. Well, that was a Bishop David Oyedek was speaking a couple of days ago. The president has finally spoken himself on this matter. In faraway Poland, he has come out to debunk that uh, notion that there is a body double in Asso Rock. He tweeted on his official handle at M. Buhari. One of the questions that came up today in my meeting with Nigerians in Poland was on the issue of whether I've been cloned or not. The ignorant rumors are not surprising. When I was away on medical vacation last year, a lot of people hoped I was dead. A video was attached, which uh, you may, may have seen already, but let's take a look again at this video and how Nigerians are reacting to this development. Let's take a look. Yes, uh, there's one important question. I, I, I tend to forget about it. Because uh, the answers of that uh, question must be ignorant and uh, irreligious. Somebody is so that I'm cloned. Uh, <laughs> no wonder I forgot it until I was reminded by it. <laughs> yes, I, um, a lot of people uh, uh, hoped that I, I was dead. <laughs> and hoped I died. And, uh, Poor Vice President, and since some people have started, in fact, asking for, for his office whether he should consider them for being the Vice President because I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> they must have embarrassed him a lot because um, uh, he visited me uh, when, I, when I was at uh, London Convalescent. But uh, it's really me, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
celebrate my 76th birthday, and I'm still going strong. <laughs> I get to harass by my grandchildren, they are getting too many. <laughs>the president has come out to deny those reports and uh, he's saying bad people at work ignore the rumors it's me president muhammad Buhari, not jibril of sudan but nigerians are talking about this uh, at inkiru in his store and tweet and said that there is no need of going to news media to deny allegation of jibril conduct a dna test that is how it is done in civilized world to prove you are real from Inkiru Kanistoran, we saw that tweet. Uh, let's take a look at uh, more reactions from Nigerians on this matter. Amala Hachioma tweeted and said, uh, Nobody said Buhari is cloned. What Nam Dikanu said is he's an impostor from Sudan. Anyways, why is he always responding from foreign land? Others are in G20 and he is at Poland. From Amala Hachioma, we saw that tweet. Uh, let's take a look at more comments on this issue from uh, Christian Aloysius tweeting at, at Ikbe. God used our president's health to shame those who think God is a respecter of persons, religion, or tribe. They prayed fervently for him to die, but God defied their wisdom and restored him as though he was never sick. Now, then would they, how then would they not be confused about his identity? From Christian Aloysius, we saw that tweet from Henry Shielder. So President Wari went to Poland to respond to the issue raging back home about him being a clone in 2019. May we have a president who will not hate us this much. Amen. From my Twitter user Henry Sheik, we saw that tweet from uh, I am Dan Orasa. One of the reasons I don't believe in this Buhari clone story is because it will be very difficult to get a clone with the same level of incompetence. <laughs> uh, interesting perspective there from last man standing tweeting at Ikena 005. Uh, first off, I don't believe the Buhari clone story. But then the statement he made in Poland that he isn't a clone. What would a clone have said? I am a clone. Kena005 tweeting from <laughs> at underscore Al Haji. You have to be a complete idiot to believe this Jubrin from Sudan story. Just know your parents have wasted money on school fees and your village people have won. Reactions of Nigerians to this issue that has been trending. From that issue, now we move on to Reverend Father Ejike Umbaka, who was trending over the past few uh, hours in the Nigerian social media. Uh, Peter Obi visited him and he refused to bless Peter Obi because uh, Peter Obi refused to disclose the exact amount he was going to donate to his ministry. There's a video where he stated clearly that Peter Obi and Atiku, the way they are going, are going to fail. Uh, Reverend Father Ejike Umbaka, the spiritual leader of the Adoration Prayer Ministry, uh, in a video that has gone viral in the Nigerian social media. Let's take a look at how that developed development panned out, how Nigerians are reacting. Uh, we'll take a look at, uh, from Laila Joma, share that video with us on Twitter. Viral video of Father Mbaka saying Atiku and Peter Obi would fail as will be refused to declare how much he will support Mbaka's ministry with. Let's take a look at the video and the comments that follow. Governor, <laughs> Oh, it means you don't want to do anything for God. Father, for the man with the strength, as a nigga, I'm not project. I want to have a project. Can you remember what if I can do? Okay, I'm the Lord of Quetta. My name is a political statement. God hates stinginess. I am the one. I'm a quick or go go to. I'm a quick here. Guys, again, do. Otherwise, again, I think we fail. The way you and that tickle are moving, we end in shame. Okay, Reverend Father, you came back and saying God hates stinginess. <laughs> Peter Obi refused to announce his donation and uh, the man, said, man of God said, God hates stinginess. The way you and Atiko are going, there's going to be a problem. Reno Mokri reacting said, uh, for those who are worried about Father Mbaka saying Atiko and Peter Obi would lose to Buhari, don't forget Mbaka also projected that Dan Kwabo would be our next president during his 2018 New Year prophecies. God is not an author of confusion. Mbaka is on his own. From Reno Omokri tweeting more reactions from Nigerians from Henry Deary. After watching the video, I became ashamed of my faith. It's mind-blowing and disheartening how this man made God look like a beggar. It's shameful 
Mbaka's altar is now highest bidder. From Henry Deary, we saw that tweet from Yorochi. Father Mbaka is hilarious. Who made him the kingmaker? Rather, what and who made him think he's one? He seems to forget that God doesn't follow the principles of men. Uh, from Twitter, he's at Yorochi. We saw that tweet uh, from uh, Chibus of Felix underscore one. Mbaka is no God. Mbaka is not the only man of God in this nation. Finally, I'm certain that God always and will forever have the final say. I rest my canal case. From Chibus of Felix one from Anyoha tweeting said that this Peter will be is my last hope on any current Nigerian politician getting us to the promised land. The man is straightforward. I pray he becomes our president one day. Uh, Anyoha tweeting there. I'm from Farouk Perogi. Mbaka's support for PMB in the run-up to the 2015 election was oiled by money. In a viral video, Mbaka said Obi and Atiku would end up in shame because Obi didn't give him money. Well, see Mbaka and Abdullah Ganduje, Abdullah Gandola. Pretty sure he would say Gandola would end up in shame. From Farouk Barogi, we saw that uh, tweet on Twitter yesterday from Saminidan. We saw this tweet as well. I was extremely perplexed when I watched the Father Mbaka's video with Peter Albi trying to coerce someone into giving you money on national TV and consequently wishing him bad luck after his refusal to do so is shameful. God will help us. From uh, Twitter user, then from Dr. Joe Abba tweeting, said, uh, Can any Catholic person please educate me on why AGK Umbaka is still a Catholic priest? Is he still part of the Catholic Church or is he on his own now? Questions the Catholic Church must answer. And uh, the Trader Money Initiative of the Nigerian government came under attack yesterday from uh, activist Aisha Yesufu, who has been one of the leading faces for the Bring Back Our Girls movement. She came on Twitter uh, to, she actually, in a video shared by Sahar reporters yesterday, condemned the initiative. Uh, she took a swipe at the initiative. Uh, let's take a look at that video, which is currently trending in the Nigerian social media, and the comments are followed. Aisha Yusufu uh, attacking the Trader Money uh, Initiative of the Nigerian government. Viral video. Aisha Yesufu launched into a raid against the trader money package of Buhari's government. Sahar reporters brought us this video yesterday. Let's take a look at this video and the comments that followed. He's going around sharing money in the form of trader money. I want you to ask them, when they come to you and they give you that money, ask them, where were they when you couldn't afford to buy food? Where were they when your child was sent home because of school fees and you couldn't afford to pay the fees and your child had to miss so many days in school because you couldn't afford to pay their school fees? Ask them, where were they when the money you used to earn that was enough to feed the family for a month could no longer feed the family for two weeks? Ask them, where were they all these years, over three years, when hardship hit the land, when insecurity hit the land, and you couldn't afford so many things that you could afford before? Where were they? They were nowhere to be found. Now it is time for election, and they go around under the guise of trade and money, giving people 10,000 naira, 10,000 naira to mortgage your life, 10,000 naira to mortgage the life of your child, 10,000 naira to mortgage the life of your unborn generation, 10,000 naira to be enslaved forever, 10,000 naira for you to be kept down and your child not have good quality education. When they give you 10,000 naira, ask them what about your children who are in the university, who today are staying at home because ASU is on strike. When they come with the 10,000 naira, ask them, what will you do with 10,000 naira when your children are back from school, when they want to graduate and get good jobs and they'll be able to take care of themselves and also you and the rest of the family. Ask them, what will 10,000 naira do when they come to you with that money? Ask them, don't be fooled. It's all about election and you matter. To them, you are not a human being. The only thing you're good for is your thumbprint. And that's what they care for. And that's why just a few months to election, they come to you with 10,000. All the while you cried before, they never listen. They close their doors. They turn their back on you. Think well. Hmm. Aisha Yesufu deconstructing the trader money initiative of President Muhammad Buhari's uh, administration. Nigerians are reacting to that video. Lalanto to Lalanto said uh, they can't fool us. We will take the 10K and they will get zero vote from us. 
Aisha Yusufu, thanks a lot. From uh, Lalanto to Lalanto, from Sherson 73, where were they since independence? Where were you, Aisha Yusufu, when past administrations were looting the treasury dry? When they were campaigning with Shopee, where were you with your sanctimonious video claiming vote buying? Nidra's problems did not begin with Buhari. Sherson 73 tweeting there from a friend uh, school uh, tweeting said there, who caused the hunger in the land if you can be sincere to yourself? They are sharing to poor people, but the other people shared the money among themselves. Uh, from Blessing Akogu tweeting there from Lukman Omotayo too said the anybody that's against trader money is enemy of the poor. The receivers are happy because it's helping their petty trading. From Lukman Omotaya, Omotaya too. Uh, and then from uh, Victoria Oye Deji too. Out of the point, my dear, you missed the aim. Out of point, my dear, you missed the aim. 10K means a lot to a pepper seller. It is good they partake in the national cake for once. Looters are looting in billions. They are not having two heads. No government pays school fees, feeds ETC. This is just imperative now. From Victoria Oyedeji, we saw that we from Senate Presido at Aisha Yesufu. This is very, very petty of you. Just trying to attach the intervention with elections. Where were you when Biafra police were paid? Where were you when staff of defunct Nigeria Airways were given hope and life? Where were you since Empower have been empowering people? Uh, reactions to the video you just watched from Nigerians from Strong underscore Truth. This is, this is truth and nothing but the truth. This government has failed woefully in all areas of governance for the three and a half years in power. Suddenly, they are using 10,000 naira to deceive and manipulate the poor citizens in order to lure them to vote their party. What a shame. Stronger Truth uh, tweeted that. Uh, uh, superstar small doctor is in police trouble. He was arrested yesterday in Lagos for illegal possession of firearms. Uh, interesting development that surfaced yesterday. Let's go on to the social media and take a look at how this issue, which broke yesterday, is generating some conversation. Small doctor, uh, the popular artist that you all know, uh, arrested yesterday. Police arrest small doctor for unlawful possession of firearm. Punch filing a report yesterday. Let's take a look at excerpts from that report. And of course, we'll also take a look at the video. The Lagos State Police Command has arrested Adekunle Temitokwe, popularly known as Small Doctor, for unlawful possession of firearms and for allegedly threatening to shoot a police officer. Lagos State Commissioner of Police Edgar Limohimi on Monday revealed this while parading the musician along with three other suspects. Imohimi said it was alleged that some unknown men, four of them, in an unregistered green SUV, had brought out a gun and threatened a policeman that if he does not leave the road, they will shoot him. Uh, he continued in the next slide. Let's take a look at the next slide, uh, what Ed Galimohimi said. Believing that they were armed robbers, I sent out my men, and fortunately with the DPO in charge of Shogun Le Division, they were able to intercept them, and the men were arrested and were brought down to the headquarters for interrogation. It was then discovered that one of them is the same Adekunle Temitokbe, a.k.a. Small Doctor. They were arrested in possession of a functional rifle, cartridge, and some of their personal belongings. Let's take a look at the video and some of the comments that followed. They don't want the boys, sir. Small daughter, need now. Then behind the boy, where are you? What is she let you from? See blood for the boy, hey. Okay, this, this is this is quite interesting because Small Doctor is actually one of the ambassadors for the Nigerian police. He's run a lot of campaigns with them, as you can see uh, from the pictures on your screen. But let's go on and take a look at Nigerians that uh, we are reacting to this yesterday. Police arrest their ambassador, Small Doctor, for illegal possession of firearms. This country is a shame from Mr. Skills written yesterday from uh, Rodia underscore EXO. This small doctor issue is a typical illustration of trust nobody. Brand, they arrest brand influencer. On to say he carry brand product. <laughs> Interesting perspective there. Uh, and then from Bright Uche Madu tweeting at I am sir, I am sir, switch me. Small, small doctor had only one job, just one job. Distribute insecticide to fight mosquitoes. And he went to carry gun. 
uh, from Bright to Chimadu. We saw that tweet um, from Badman20. Small Dr. Tigba Penati Lord Truin. Oshie and your Bobby Smurda from uh, Badman20. We saw that tweet from Bams underscore Junior. Could it be that Small Doctor uses guns to kill mosquitoes? Uh, Nigerians reacting yesterday, you see my Ode tweeting as well, said small doctor has been arrested and paraded for unlawful possession of firearms charges and has been accused of threatening to shoot a police officer. Small doctor is a Nigerian police ambassador. By the way, you don't enter big trouble, Sha, from Isima Ode. Yesterday, we saw that tweet. And as we wrap up, we bring you this very interesting video that surfaced in the Nigerian social media. A Nigerian dressed up in army fatigues, the camouflage, popular camouflage that you know, uh, was apprehended by men of the Nigerian army. And this was what transpired. <laughs> Let's take a look at um, that video. <laughs> Call it a classical case of we die here. From Garulos Monk 11, he's shook. Every day before he leaves his house, he will check his outfit like 50 times. <laughs> and then from Maranti Jr., I don't laugh, Tyre. Who sent them? Hard guy, hard guy. I'm sure that man would pass all the zodiacs we did here. And then uh, from uh, Phillips 1, guys, the first day I watched this video, I was inside poultry that fateful day. I laughed and fell on my chickens. I kid four that day. <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> and then Akanimo Sunday. I don't know why I didn't find this funny. If the soldier made gestures that suggested he was going to shoot the guy, then it's very unprofessional. Whether he wore a camo or not, he doesn't deserve such a mental torture. <laughs> well, this is the much we can take this morning on Kakaki Social. Follow the conversation on all our social media platforms at Kakaki Social on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Kakaki Social. I am Ohimai Amaize. Kakaki Social returns tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Stay tuned as I hand you over back now to Sally and Shola. Oh, he might, the kind of content you bring to us, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just left us <laughs> cracking up here. Thank you so much, Oh, he might. Oh, he might, I don't know. The last, few, the last clip, you just... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Captain Beach can say something about that. 